He has been so good to us uh, here on Down the Road. Uh, Daryl Richardson is the director of the North Dakota Agricultural Network and has been our source for all things weather uh, when it comes up. Let's let's bring him in. Daryl, uh, good to have you coming down the road with us again. Hey, it's good to be back on with you. I, describe to people what the North Dakota Agricultural Network is, it, you know, for many of our first-time viewers. Uh, we're a network of 172 weather stations in Montana, North Dakota, and Minnesota, most of which are in um, North Dakota, of course. Uh, what we really do is we are not only a weather network, we're also a soil network as well. So we can keep track of soil moisture levels and soil temperature levels throughout the year. Uh, we have a lot of uses, but because of the North Dakota Agricultural Weather Network, our main focus is on agriculture and we run a lot of crop guidance. We help um, say people when to spray, um, oftentimes even how much to spray. We can deal with crop diseases. We can estimate when a crop disease may be forming so you can get ahead of that. We can estimate when say certain insects are coming out. So we do a whole gamut of different items throughout agriculture. And in the month of June, for instance, probably our number one use thing is actually inversions and when to spray, when not to spray, and we also sometimes dealing with how to adjust the spray nozzles and things like that. So we do a whole bunch of stuff, Joel. Uh, Daryl, these sites, uh, how many sites do you have out there? 172 right now. We have six um, in kind of stasis that we will be um, finishing off here in the next several weeks. So by the end of the summer, we'll have 178. <laughs> That's amazing. I want people to understand what these sites look like. Over, Daryl's on your screen, uh, on, the, on the screen to the left, over his right shoulder, you're going to see one of these sites. And, and Daryl, tell people what they're looking at. Well, that's our site in Bowman, North Dakota. It's located on a highway just about four miles west of Bowman. It's in the middle of a pasture. So not all of our stations are fenced. That one is because there are oftentimes cattle around for our protection from them, of course. And it's a tower, but that site uh, has soil moisture. It has an all-season rain gauge, so we can measure the amount of snow that falls, not the depth, the amount of liquid in the snowfall. And that's part of a project we've been doing in Western North Dakota with the Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, so that station's a little fancier than what it looks like over my shoulder right now. We did a couple of upgrades to it last year. Daryl, it's all been lovey-dovey, uh, and but let's get out of the way of what we need to talk about. It's your fault. Uh, you are a weatherman, and it's every weatherman's fault that it's been 100 degrees for three days in a row, and it can't make up its mind. The one thing it is consistently is windy. Uh, and it isn't just because I'm a talk show host and I love being outdoors. I want to know when you're going to fix this. I want to know when you're going to make the weather so that it's uh, calm water and I can take my kids tubing or skiing. Oh, we need to um, alter our position on the planet, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we live in one of the windiest spots um, where there's a large, a noticeable human population. Um, here in the mid latitudes and in the northern plains. But even by our standards, yes, it's been a little windier than, say, quote unquote, average. But you always have to remember, average is made up of periods where it's really, really windy and periods where it's not so windy. Uh, but we've been on one of those stretches for the last 18 months or so where we've been a little bit above average, even by our windy standards. So I've got a number of friends, and most of the people in my neck of the woods head out into Lakes Country in Minnesota. And uh, when they go there, of course, it's pontoon weather, that type of thing. You know, we had some big-time winds. A lot of their pontoons flipped over. A lot of their pontoon covers flipped over. A lot of their boats. In other words, you know exactly what happened. Is that going to be the norm for this uh, summer as you look at the long-term projections? Are we looking at the type of summer that's going to leave me blaming you, even though it isn't fair, uh, for the rest of the summer? Oh, I would say that, you know, really, June is our wettest month of the year by far. And a vast majority of our rain in June comes from severe thunderstorms. Uh, from a historical perspective, Joel, June was actually pretty quiet. You know, about um, 60, 70 percent of the area is well below average for precipitation this month. Uh, we really only had two or three rounds of severe weather, and none of them are good. 
Um, obviously, they all tend to do some damage, but you know we've had much busier years, and I think the rest of the summer will probably continue the trend. Most areas, not everyone, because it only takes one thunderstorm uh, to turn a summer wet, but I still think most areas probably finish the summer drier than average. So in turn, I would say the odds favor less severe weather this summer than in some past years. But again, it only takes one event where you are to really spoil your entire summer, sadly. Daryl, there, Darryl, there's a beautiful new grocery store in Ledgewood, North Dakota. And I've got an old International Scout pickup. And I got into it on Sunday morning because uh, we were going to eat brats at the lake. And I said, I know where the freshest buns are. So I got in that pickup and I drove to Ledgewood. And on that way, I saw in a pasture cattle standing up to their ears uh, in, in grass. You know, in many ways, I shouldn't be complaining versus what we had last year. Uh, and so with that, I'm going to let you explain uh, to people how to find out your work. Where do they go uh, to support your work, to help your work, and to find out uh, more knowledge about your work? Probably the easiest thing for me really to mention is, because it's an easy thing to remember, is to go to NDAWN, N-D-A-W-N, just the acronym for the North Dakota Agriculture Weather Network, NDAWN.info. So instead of .com, type in .info. There will be a link on there to our main website that has a little bit more information, but that URL to go there is a very long thing for people to remember. But endon.info will have a lot of the basic information, the rainfall, a lot of the temperature, and a lot of information on there are photos from all of our um, stations that we have. And again, there is a link to our main website. And on our main website, you can find out some of the details that you just mentioned if people are actually interested in um, getting in contact with us. Daryl, thank you for being such a good friend to us here on Down the Road. I really appreciate it.